Hello, and a very warm welcome back to... <laughs> Michael Benteen's potty time. Take one. <laughs> Clarence, you've done it once again. Beautiful, yes. Now, this particular potty time, I'd like to tell you about the Wild West. Not about the cowboys and Indians, so much about one particular uh, role played by the 7th, uh, the 7th Cavalry. Now, what happened was, as the settlers pushed west, they pushed the Indians out of the fertile valleys where the buffalo were raised into these arroyos and deserts, which you can see here. Well, this, of course, caused an awful lot of fighting. And so, very naturally, the Indians didn't like the idea at all. And so the United States had to send a peace mission with the 7th Cavalry under its able commanding officer to make a treaty with the Sioux Indians under their great chief, Sitting Bull. Now, naturally, of course, there were difficulties. And, and Sergeant Tari, General Alarm. Oh. Colonel, sir, Sergeant Tari reporting at your orders, sir. Tari, I heard someone prowling around the fort. So I, oh, jumping Jehoshaphat, that show is a big Indian. I'm not an Indian, sir, I'm British. British? Yeah. Huh? Oh, a limey. Tell me, sir, your name and your business. Uh, Benteen, sir, I'm a reporter for Potty Time. Oh, a war correspondent, huh? <laughs> well, well, sir, I hope you get your facts right. We are here to make a treaty with that wily old Indian, Sitting Bull. Oh. Hey, Sergeant Tyree. Show sure enough, Colonel, sir. <laughs> We're going to make a, a right pretty treaty with old Sitting Bull himself. <laughs> As a matter of fact, big fella, we are setting out almost immediately with our treaty party. Sound the advance. Forward, ho! Sure, Sergeant Darling. Private Muldoon reporting with the ammunition wagon and the Darling Gatling gun. Oh, the Darling gun. A Gatling gun? What a way to make a peace treaty. And the Gatling gun ensures that, sir. Sitting Bull calls it the gun that speaks with many voices. Oh. Hey, Tyree? Sure enough, Colonel. Uh, what exactly is the horse doing in the wagon? Horse? What horse? That horse. That Gosh darn it, sir, is a mule, a hundred percent United States enlisted army mule. Yes, but what's it doing in the wagon? Ah, uh, retired, sir, retired. That old mule has completed over 20 years service in the cavalry, pulling Private Muldoon and the wagon. So now Private Muldoon is a pulling him. Seems only right and proper, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> now, sir, if your curiosity is satisfied, forward, ho! Yeah, uh, uh, just a moment, uh, Colonel... Uh, Colonel, Colonel Beauregard uh, Potty, officer in command, Peace Detachment, 7th United States Cavalry, sir. Ex-Flying Officer Benteen, sir, Royal Air Force, Her Majesty's sir. Proud to meet a brother officer of Her Majesty's forces. <laughs> How is Queen Victoria? We Queen Victoria? Oh, yes, of course, yes. <laughs> you said Royal Air Force. Yes. So it's true, then, the British have got that new secret weapon. Secret weapon, sir? Trust me, sir. As brother officers, trust me, the secret weapon, balloons. <laughs> balloons? And now, with your permission, sir, forward ho! <laughs> True halt, forward the colors. Tyree, see any Indian signs? Sure do, Colonel. These here tracks mean that, uh, well, uh, six Sioux Indian scouts been passed here maybe four or five hours back. Or uh, could mean that uh, five Sioux Indian scouts been passed here maybe four or six hours back. Or could mean uh, four Sioux Indian scouts been passed here maybe 
six and five or four hours back. Tyree is the best tracker in the 7th Cavalry. <laughs> that sitting bull over there. Take cover, men. Take cover. Get down, big fella, or sit and we'll have your scalp. Keep your hair on, big fella. Muldoon. Yes, Sergeant Darling. Open fire with a Gatling gun. She's firing, man. She's firing. They're retreating. Now, we'll push on to sit and bull's camp. Forward, ho! Sitting Bull greet his old enemy, Colonel Beauregard of the Long Knives. Long Knives? That's Indian talk for cavalry swords. Oh. Well, Sitting Bull, I've come with orders from Washington to make peace with the Indian nation. Sitting Bull, first ask medicine man, running dog, if Colonel speak with forked tongue. Forked tongue? The chief means he'll ask the medicine man if the Colonel is lying. What does the medicine man in the buffalo skin uh, say? Running dog say, Colonel Beauregard come in peace to make treaty. Thank heaven for that. Sitting bull, the president, that is to say, the great white father, say whole Sioux nation can have this desert as Indian reservation. This desert no good. No buffalo in desert. I see, that seems jolly unfair. You stay out of this, big fella. Oh. Sitting bull, those are my terms. Now, who speaks for the Sioux Nation? I do, Colonel. I speak for the Sioux Nation. Colonel Cody, sir. Buffalo Bill? Buffalo Bill himself. Ah, it's the darling man himself, at all, at all. <laughs> Buffalo at all. Bill Cody. Cool. And a pretty mean treaty that is, too, Colonel. What do you mean, sir? I know every inch of this here desert, and it's not buffalo country. And without buffalo, the engine just can't survive. Those are my orders, sir. Is that so, Sitting Bull? That is so, Buffalo Bill. Well, that alters things, my Colonel. So, okay, as the Indians say. Okay? Okay. Mean them all right. Old Indian word. Okay. <laughs> you mean the chief agrees to stay on this desert reservation? He does indeed, Colonel. Provided he can have anything and everything in this here desert for his tribe. I agree. The Sioux now owns the whole territory of this here desert. <laughs> Sergeant Tyree, <laughs> old sitting bull must be going soft in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Show enough, Colonel. <laughs> Colonel, uh, we, we sure got the better of the old chief. <laughs> that we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, it's a deal. Good day, Colonel Beauregard. Good day, sir. True forward. Ho! Bye, Colonel. You know, that seems jolly unfair, Buffalo Bill. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, big fella. <laughs> eh, chief? <laughs> Sitting Bull, very happy about treaty. Now does it belong to Sioux Nation forever? Yes, but what about the buffalo? Well, what did Running Dog say? Running Dog say, who need buffalo? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't get it. You will, big fella. You see that there teepee? Teepee? Yeah, that's a tent, uh, an Indian tent. Oh, yeah. 
Well, you just lift that teepee off, and you'll see why Sitting Bull is so happy. Right. <laughs> oh, it's oil! <laughs> well, if you've enjoyed the antics of our little friends, the potties, why don't you join us again real soon? Till then, bye. <laughs> Look at that.